so you guys are looking on how to fight an interceptor what is up guys and today i'm going to give you some simple interceptor tips now first of all play the boss how you want to play the boss have fun i'm just going to give you context as to why some people do some things and how to perform all of these techs so first off as soon as you get in there a common tip that I like to give people is whatever your keybind is for it, scan the boss as soon as you see that health bar appear on the top half of your screen. That's going to come in handy later. As you can see when you scan, you'll see a new bar pop up and it's going purple. That is called the frenzy meter or the immune meter. And essentially, damage dictates to how fast that meter is going to fill up. So if you do a lot of damage, that meter is going to insanely increase as if you were to not do a lot of damage to the boss you can hold off now for some cases for example in pyro um the hummingbirds those give immune and pretty much depending on how you guys approach it you would want the boss and immune as fast as possible or as little as possible for me personally if i'm in a team that's not struggling on damage but we happen to not one cycle him I will tend to want the boss and immune as fast as possible. Getting the immune phase out of the way, in my opinion, is way better than holding off and then at that one second where you have to kill him, then the immune phase procs, that is when it gets bad. So another thing is whenever you see the boss and immune and when that purple bar is full, there is this little thing on either their arm, their head, their back, and it's called a breakable part when frenzied. Now, for example, if the boss is one HP and he goes in immune, all of you guys are going to do is just shoot the immune part when frenzied. What this does is it helps skip the immune phase, and if you do enough damage, you'll break it and get the boss out of immune even faster. But for most cases, the boss is one HP. Oh no, he goes into immune. Guys, just shoot that glowy thing. He will die. If you load into it and see before you match make that manual, kind of strategize here. Oh, I want to target this part first. Guys, let's all shoot it. And then we can go for the grapples later. Or depending on if you guys just want to do the shoulders, that's completely fine as well. Now, moving on, we have the breakable parts now typically a boss has two that a lot of people like to grapple onto but a lot of people don't know is that there is a third that you can do it's called the core as soon as you damage the shoulder it eventually goes dark blue then light blue then cyan cyan means that the part is about to turn yellow and as soon as it turns yellow it means you're ready to board now question that a lot of people are gonna ask is, well, when do I grapple the shoulders? Because as soon as it's yellow, that's when you do it, right? Well, you technically can, and in some cases, that is the best option to do. But for some cases, people want to drag out the damage as much as possible. And typically, when that immune bar is almost full, it's gonna go immune. But a cool thing is when somebody grapples on, as soon as someone grapples on, not when they're just dropping the boss, the immune bar doesn't go up, and that means that the other people, as soon as the person grapples on, they can just shoot him, and it won't gain immune. So typically people will see that immune bar, oh, it's kind of full, but we can prevent that immune phase even further by having somebody grapple onto that. Now if you see it glow yellow, I know that you can weaken it a bit more. Try not to do that, as I'll give you a tip how to take out a shoulder or a breakable part even if it is full HP. So as soon as somebody's grappled on there, don't shoot where they're on, because if you do too much damage, it'll break off the part, you won't get the drop, and you will get damage loss. So as soon as somebody's on there, uh, don't shoot that. You can shoot them anywhere else. Try to avoid that. Now, how I do it, and a lot of people should be doing the boarding. First of all, you gotta grapple onto the boss. So as soon as you see that debuff run out on the top half of your screen, you'll see it. It is a black grapple icon that has grapple resistance. That is after each board, or if he just shakes you off and he goes into immune a bit faster, even if you are on the shoulder. 
So just keep that in mind if you cannot grapple it. The shoulder is also white to indicate that it is no longer available to grapple or it's not available at this time. Your grapple on the boss, you're gonna see two meters. You're gonna see a red meter, that is the part's health, and you're going to see a yellow meter. That is how much time you have on the boss. Now, a lot of people don't know is once you're on there, that mirror is gonna start going down and they tend to panic. They wanna just instantly rip it off. What you can do instead is when you're on that boss, if he starts shaking you off, depending on what keybind it is, for me, it's left trigger. And for other people, I think it's right mouse button. As soon as he starts like shaking you, going frantic, hold on, the bar will significantly go down slower. You'll see it. As soon as it stops doing that and he stops shaking you off or trying to, then you can get back to damaging the shoulder. Damage it until it is one HP. As soon as that yellow bar is about to go, then you break it completely. That boss is gonna drop. You get so much more damage. That's pretty much the basics of a interceptor and some tips. I hope you guys learned something. And of course, guys, have fun. Um, I'm not saying you have to do this in a certain order. I'm just giving you context as to what people do, how they're doing that. Um, other than that, guys, I hope you guys have a great day. And this is Nine Riser signing off. Enjoy your interceptor battles.